Hey everybody, it is Heather Coley with Real Estate Life and Lessons Learned and today I have Zoe in my lap because she's a little bit of a brat and will start to bark if she hears me talking and I'm not holding her. So anyways, uh, so she's with me today on this video. This video is going to be about how do you get your real estate license in the state of Georgia. I got my license, well, let's see, this August will be 17 years ago. So, yeah, that that makes me feel pretty old. <laughs> but it was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And it's not a difficult process. Uh, you will have to study a lot, and the test is not easy by any means. But... It is a pretty simple process to get one. And, you know, one of the professions to where the sky's the limit as far as how little or how much you can make and the investment is very minimum. I would say less than $1,000 to get started. So I can't wait to tell you all about it. So stay tuned and I'll give you all the steps. So what do you have to start with to get your real estate license? Well, the very first thing is you have to be 18 years old or older. And you do have to have a high school diploma or either a certificate of equivalency. And you do have to get a background check. So the background check, it needs to be within 60 days of when you are going to apply for your real estate license. And you're going to want to go to a local sheriff, sheriff's office in, you know, your county or either local police department, and you should be able to get one there. If you are in another state and you're wanting to get a Georgia real estate license, then, of course, you will go to your state uh, to get a criminal background check. And I'm going to put a link uh, below in the description of this video to the Georgia Real Estate Commission so that you will have all the specifics of everything I'm going to be talking about. So, so first things are 18, uh, high school diploma, and background check. Now, if you do have some things on the background, that doesn't mean that you cannot get your real estate license, but it means that you're going to have to go a little bit more through a process, and there's actually a form on the Real Estate Commission that will need to be included when you submit for your real estate license, you know, application, and it gives a little bit more information on that, like I said, in the link that I'll provide below. So that's the first thing. So, all right, so you have that going for you. And so now what is the second step or, you know, yeah, second thing that you would need. I'd say first is background check and second is going to be school. So you have to go to a approved school and there are many, many schools in the state of Georgia that will work. And I'll also put a link below for those. And you've got to have 75 hours of an approved pre-licensed real estate course. Now, the great news is, yes, you can do this online too. Or if you're more like me and it's you just learn better when you're in a classroom and you like being around other people and can hear their questions and the instructor and all that good stuff, then you can also go to class. And they even offer classes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I mean, you can literally get through the school within six weeks. So this is not a very long, lengthy process. I mean, it can go really quick for you. Or like I said, you might be someone that does even better at things online and you can just do it through, you know, do it online. That's exactly what my husband did and he did great with it. So after you get through the classes and there's two parts that through the Georgia multiple listing, you know, service that you can actually go through. And so the first one, and I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this because the last video I look like I was blind and I'm, I think I almost am after turning, you know, 40 several, several years ago. 
it seems like your eyesight just really goes. <laughs> but so the there's two separate parts, and one is called real estate fundamental fundamentals. Can't talk either, and Georgia real estate practice. So. These are two separate sections if you're going to go to the Georgia MLS School. And that website is georgiarealestateschool.com. So, pretty simple. georgiarealestateschool.com. And so, you're going to go through both these parts. And then, after you complete these parts, there will be a test. But that's not the big test. So, the big test is going to be, of course the state test and but you have to complete this these classes before you can get to the big big test so anyways so the next thing to know is all right you get through the school there's there's a lot of cram courses you can go to if you want to do something like that to kind of really refresh your memory before you go take the state test, which I would highly suggest. Uh, there's even a course that my husband did that's called Night Before the Exam that was very helpful to him. Uh, but yeah, like just as soon as you get done with your classes, you want to schedule to take the state test because trust me, that information goes out of your head very quickly um, if you're like me. And so I need to go as soon as I possibly can so that I, you know, can get past it. But anyway, so to take the state test, how much is that going to cost? Okay, so... To go back on the school, it's very affordable. I mean, the Georgia MLS class is two payments of $225. So, I mean, you guys, where are you going to go to school and be able to get a license to be able to go make unlimited income for literally $450? I mean, come on. That's incredible. So, and when you go to take your exam, the exam fee right now, uh, January 2020, is $121. So, you, now, if you fail your exam and you have to go take the test again, yes, you're going to have to pay $121 every single time you have to retake the test. So, you want to make sure that you study, study, study so you can get past this thing so you're not having to spend more. Now, after you've took your state test, now it's time to actually apply for your real estate license. And there's a fee for that too. Uh, that's $170 if you do it within the first three months. So I would highly suggest doing that because why would you want to wait? I mean, go ahead and, you know, apply and get your license so that you can start making money. If you wait and you apply between three months and 12 months, then that fee jumps up to $340. So I would definitely go ahead, go to school, go take the state test, pass the test, and then apply for your license right away. So that's going to be the most economical. So um, as soon as you go and take the test, I mean, they let you know right there if you passed or you failed. So there's not, you know, a waiting around a few weeks to find out, did I pass, did I fail? You will know. I mean, they will tell you, you passed, and you will have no idea what you made. Back in the day when I went, they actually told us the grade, but now they don't. Uh, if you fail, they will tell you your grade. So you can find out just how close you were, but not close enough. So, Anyways, uh, the great news is that if you fail and bomb it the first time, hey, you can go back and you can take it again. So, don't give up is my big... I, I've known people that have had to go pat, back four and five and six times and then get their license. So, do not give up. If you know you're... You know, if you really, really want to do it and you know you're supposed to do it, then don't give up. Um... After you get your license, the thing to know is all that information that you had to cram for and that you had to study for, you're going to use about this much of it <laughs> in real life real estate. So, uh, 
that's going to be another video of really how do you then get going in real estate once you do get your license because trust me uh it's just it's so it's very different than what you learned in the book so it's gonna there's a lot of people skills that you need to learn and just uh i really believe in having a mentor so uh so anyways i hope that this helped you guys know a little bit more about how to get your real estate license in the state of Georgia. See, it's, it doesn't sound that hard, does it? I mean, and it really is a matter of just doing it. Just start the process and, you know, you never know until you try and you just might be like me. You know, stay at home mom, had no clue what I wanted to do for work for the rest of my life. And I stumbled into just going to real estate school. My sister-in-law called me up one day and asked if maybe it'd be something I'd want to do. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's go do it. And I had no idea that it would change my life, but it did. And I know it can yours too, if, if you want it. So I'm very thankful that you guys are here. And if you learned something from this video, please press like, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to teach you some more. Until next time, thanks so much for stopping by.